Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god. Ah! I'm not shitting on my ex because we had this talk way later on because we're still friends. guys i had the best idea ever last night i've been watching this like korean makeup artist on youtube how she does natural makeup style on like k-pop artists when they go on set as i was watching that i was so inspired to change my makeup look i went out to get hair dye because i want to dye my eyebrows and possibly get bangs because i just want to so that is going to be the plan for today because i have Actually, I do have a lot of things to do for school, but my mental health is my priority. So, let's get into it. All right, so I went to Duane Reads. Also, I have a cold. It's been going on for like two weeks. I don't know why it's not getting better. I got this color. I don't know, it's a little bit risky because my eyebrows are really like black, which is my natural hair color. Apparently this, because my hair color is black, it's gonna turn to this color. I don't know, what if I fuck it up? I went to Sephora shopping yesterday. I spent way too much, but it was all worth it. Because as I was watching the YouTube videos yesterday, I was like jotting down notes on what I have to like purchase for this new look of mine. I just washed my face. Put it in the refrigerator last night. Mm, it feels so good. I'm like obsessed with like skincare these days. Do you guys like my shirt? World's best ex girlfriend. Oh my god, also, I saw like a comment on my previous video. Someone was wondering what my personal color is. I really want to get it done in Korea. You know, like the personal color test thing where you actually go to the physical store and have someone like put the bunch of uh, colors on top of you to see what your best personal color is but from what I noticed while I was going through a bunch of my horrendous makeup stages I think I'm cool tone but at the same time when I do eyeshadow I have to do like a warm tone so I think it might be neutral I'm not sure so today I'm gonna try to figure that out I used to do dark makeup or just like very Jinan makeup, very Americanized makeup, which I realized I don't think that my face structure really fits that kind of makeup style. So I'm trying to learn the Korean style makeup because obviously I have a Korean facial structure. That's basically like the main purpose of me making this video because I was around. Hey, Queen. Okay, I'm just gonna go to your house. <laughs> I need to warm myself. Alasa. Uh, well, Izzy's gonna come. She can watch me dye my eyebrows. Oh. I'm gonna dye my eyebrows. What? Right now? Yeah. I was explaining about how I have identity crisis <laughs> these days. Like a lighter color. Lighter color? No, because they got old YouTube video so I was learning like Korean makeup styles. Hangok Orgulun light eyebrows with the child old in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I was don't See, yours is you get light touch on Oh my god. So I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, I'm so scared. I hope it works though. If it doesn't work, I'll be so sad. You should make a video like glow up with me. It was hard to cook well. I'll cook well. Oh, I'm gonna cut my bangs too. <laughs> You even just try to let up. Guys, last time she like cut like a piece of hair here in the right middle. And I was like braiding her hair and a random piece of hair. You want to try to look at it? I'll try to look at it. Oh my Guys, I'm like mega jungle right now. Oh my gosh, I look horrendous right now. Guys, this is so not okay. Wait, I'm gonna try removing it right now. Are you ready for the big reveal? Ooh! Oh my god, it's so much lighter. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, oh my god, it looks so weird. Oh, wait, not bad. Yeah, that's the concept. Yo, I like it. Wait, I like it. Wait, guys, this is just be emo. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna do my makeup. Concept change to the hip Mm, it smells so good. Oh, there was a question. Favorite fragrance. It smells so good. And then now. Sunscreen. It's a tip that I learned from Miss Hannah Kim. Setting spray. Okay, foundation is like a little bit of Oh my god, we should make like a next video where I do your makeup. <laughs> Can I actually? You can. Oh my gosh. Full face makeup or hydrogen. Okay, now I'm gonna use the NARS concealer in the shade Light to Vanilla with the concealer brush that I bought yesterday. Can you try Doyen makeup? Doyen makeup? I wanna try. I wanna see how you look. Oh, guilty pleasure. Comfort, food, and guilty pleasure. Oh, little bites. Oh, I love little bites brownie. What's your MBTI? Uh, I think I answered another one. I was ENFP, but I changed after this summer. Now I am IS ISFP. People don't believe me when I say that I'm I now. I believe you. Yeah, because you're with me 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> No, like people that I met after the summer, they were like, Chloe, you're so weird. I was like, what the hell? Like, like, I'm an I, and I did the test again. Like, and I'm now I. They won't believe me. Good gotcha. You're an extroverted introvert. No, intro. Oh, wait, extroverted introvert. 처음 만난 사람들한테는 낯을 가리는데 친해지면 맞아. 근데 isn't that introverted and extrovert then? Not extroverted introvert. Introverted extrovert. Me, search up the difference. <laughs> As someone who is energized by being around people, but can start to become depleted. And you are introverted extrovert. That's it. Okay, now that I'm done with my base, I'm gonna use the powder from Laura Mercier. Oh, <laughs> For real. <laughs> Money for fun. Ani ani. 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 And the shade blonde. So I to to the shade blonde. I the shade the shade blonde. I the like apparently, 무대 많이 세트로 들어가면 그 K-pop idols 카메라로 비치면 눈썹이 더 이렇게 땡해 보이잖아. Mm. So they 일부러 do it more thicker. 카메라 위주로. 아 공부를 이렇게 열심히 했으면. <웃음> 얘는 섀도우로 잡기 조금 어렵거든요. 섀도우로 잡 잡아야 돼. I wish my eyebrows were straight. Dude, you should have seen me in ninth grade. Mega arched. No, it wasn't thin. There was like an arch. Arch. It was like.
nose contour. 저는 이만 가보겠습니다. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back to the YouTube video. <laughs> okay. She's using a pink tone shade. My Kylie Jenner palette. I have Adore You and Cherries and Cream that she's using. Okay, I've never used a pink toned eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna go in with it. Wait, why does that look actually so good? Wait, maybe I am cool toned. I'm not sure. Wait, maybe I have to mix the dark and light shade together and then go in with it. Ooh. Okay, we're doing eyeliner now. Wait. Okay, now we're gonna blend that out with this brush. She's using like the same exact color as this one. Blending that at the edges. Okay, she's like going in the edges of the eye like this. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna blend that as well. Let me just answer some questions because I really want to kind of like connect with you guys. I just wanted to feel more comforting. So that's why I posted on my Instagram. That could be more fun and like engaging and more breaking that boundary kind of vibe. But my friends are being very so cooperative and asking these weird questions that I cannot expose. So I'll skip some. <laughs> Biggest ick. Oh my gosh. There are some eggs that are very like, it might not be valid for some people, but okay, this one is like, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm able to say this, but it's like when guys run with their backpack straps on them so tight and they start running really aggressively and like really energetically and the bag's just like kind of bouncing up and down behind them and you see this from behind. It's such an egg. When you can tell that they're so aware of their surroundings and, and like, it's so obvious where they think that people are watching them. So like they act very unnaturally cool. They kind of act in a way where it's like, they don't really give a shit. Whole like posture has this specific intention. I don't know how to explain it, but I think you might understand what I mean. It's just such an ick to me. Cause like I personally get attracted to people who, where they genuinely don't care what people think and they genuinely enjoy themselves in a social setting. Um, I saw this really funny question. What do you think about situationships? <laughs> ah! Ah! Situationships are my favorite thing ever. I've been talking with Izzy and we were like discussing about situationships and just like relationships in general. And we got to this topic where it's like, I love that type of relationship where it's like someone that you should not be with. Not to a point where it would break any friendships or whatever. It's just like, oh, we shouldn't be doing this. I don't know, it's so attractive to me. And it's like, we're just talking about it. And I guess that's kind of like a situationship, but in a different manner. If it's just like a type of situationship where it's like really toxic and not really good for your mental health, obviously you should stop and kind of distance yourself from it. But at the same time, there must be a reason why you're not detaching from that kind of situationship because maybe you're just too attracted to that person or you became too attached to that person. Um, but personally, I've been, I mentioned this in my previous video, but as I was talking about my friendship breakups, I, I kind of developed as a person where I can chunk them really easily, kind of like detach myself from the other person really easily. So whether if it's friendships or just relationships or situationships in general, I kind of became like a person who finds it really easily to detach emotions. Definitely, I used to be, <laughs> funny story, I don't know. It's just, sorry for attending guys. Okay, so I hope he doesn't watch this, but I had an ex in my sophomore year. I was such a good girlfriend, I feel like, in my opinion. But he was graduating as I was still a sophomore. He was gonna go to um, the States for college and as I was still in Korea. It was around like five months in, or sorry, four months in for dating. And he was so like enthusiastic about like, oh, we can do long distance or whatever. And I was just like, yes, like I'm down because I'm a committed person like I don't have commitment issues and suddenly this man just dips on me I'm just like okay so since then I think I also went through like an identity crisis stage at that point because I just didn't know how to handle any relationships that came after that and honestly I think I started having abandonment issues I'm not sure 
putting on my ex. He already knows about this because we had this talk way later on because we're still friends and he regrets doing that. But anyways, aside from that, I became a person where I would detach from the person before I start getting attachment issues. I just know the stage before the attachment issues part. So I just make sure to kind of set a boundary for myself. Whereas if I'm having like a thing with someone, I would make sure like, oh, you gotta stop like thinking about them or you gotta stop like texting them this much. You gotta stop meeting them this much because I don't want to get attached in the first place. But anyways, back to the situationship idea. This is the reason why. I've kind of experimented with the idea of situationships because I've never been in one until this summer. And I've kind of realized how difficult and stressful this process could be. But at the same time, it's so fun. <laughs> like, I loved it, but now I'm kind of in my me time era. So I guess not anymore. But it was fun while it lasted. So I hope none of the people that I've mentioned in that whole explanation is watching this video <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna cut these pieces up so i can use them by bits tell us about your firsts brackets kiss and all etc etc okay i don't know if i can go into too much detail about this oh, i don't know if i can expose myself like this oh my gosh he he's like a white guy like a cute blonde whatever blue eyes and we're just playing like spin the bottle without alcohol, like an arrow in the middle. It was just so childish. I didn't know that I had a crush on him at that time. After we got picked, oh my gosh, the kiss was terrible, obviously, because we we're in middle school. But that's basically it. That's all that I can talk about right now because I don't think I can expose more of my secrets. Oh my gosh, wait, that looks so good. Wait, why is this Loki turning into like an ABG makeup? Okay, wait, whatever, okay. Key to self-confidence. Personally, I think that I'm pretty confident in myself. Rather than insecurities, I would call it like opportunities for improvement. Because obviously I do want to lose weight for my satisfaction, but I'm not insecure about it. I saw um, an interview of Honey from New Jeans. I think she was doing an interview for Vogue for a question, what's the best advice that you've ever heard of? And she said, compete with yourself, not with others. And that might be like a pretty cliche advice that you could hear. But when I heard her explanation of how don't compare yourself to others, compare yourself to your current self and try to get better from there on. And when I heard it, I was like, yeah. Like that's such a good advice. Relating that to like self-confidence, instead of being like insecure or anything, I would take that in a positive, optimistic way. Set a goal from there on. It's a waste of time to be so sad about something where you can do something about it. There was a time where I used to be like so insecure about like my physical body image and like my face, but now I just think of it as like, like a goal that I could achieve and just focus on while I am in school. Because once you change your whole mindset your confidence just follows up with it i guess i thought i was the only one who thought it this way but i was watching madeline rg madeline rg i was listening to her podcast on youtube and she was also talking about how to become confident and i thought that i was the only one who thought about this but she mentioned about how it's only possible when it, you just fake it till you make it it sounds cliche as well but when she said that you have to think that you're the sh kind of brainwash yourself to think in that certain way until you actually genuinely start to think that and that's kind of how i achieved my confidence as i was also like finding ways to improve my physical image like to achieve that mindset as well while i was at it but because i thought i was a narcissist but maybe it's just like a tactic that you could use to become confident and, okay now she's using a pink tone blush which is perfect because I have the same tone. Oh, Claire got me this for Secret Santa this last winter or this winter. So I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and just. She's like blurring the edges with it. And we're not going for any like harsh lines or anything. So I'm just like. And now she's going in with a darker shade in the middle. So I'm gonna this matte tint. She's just slightly doing it over here. It's a very light gold kind of shade. Wow. Wait, 
Why did the makeup turn out so nicely? Oh, wait, I need to use this. Oh, wait, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And I think she put a lip gloss over it. So I'm just going to use my daily lip gloss from Dior. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, she's putting pearl now. I thought we were over. Okay, I found it. I have two shades from Code. This pearl, more white and gold. I'm gonna use the white one. Finish a makeup look like this. Wow. Oh my god, that looks so good. Wait, I'm so satisfied with this makeup look. Okay, but now, now that I'm done with my makeup, I really wanted to cut my bangs. But I don't know if I should. I've been literally thinking about this for a month now. Whether I should cut my bangs or not. But I feel like I should. Like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm, gonna, ah! <gasps> I'm so scared. Wait, I need a break. Give me like five minutes until I come back. Holy sh! I went to the bathroom and looked at myself in the mirror. My eyebrows make such a big difference. I don't know if you can tell on camera though. Like in real life, it's so much more different. Okay, I shall cut my bangs now. Wait, let me just look at some more of the questions. 이상형. 저 뭐였더라? 주연이랑 같이 찍은 YouTube 영상에서 이 질문을 벌써 답변을 해드렸는데. 좀 바뀐 것 같아요, 이상형이. 그래서 다시 답을 해드리겠습니다. <웃음> 제 이상형이 살짝 옛날에는 무쌍이고 좀 이렇게 아, 맞다. 그좀 귀여운 면도 있지만 외모적으로는 살짝 그 카리스마가 쩌는 그런 여우상을 좀 좋아했는데 요즘에는 살짝 그 쌍꺼풀이 좀더 이쁘고 눈이 이쁜 사람을 더 좋아하게 된것 같아요. 근데 당연한 거는 성격으로서 제 말을 잘 듣는 남자를 선호합니다. 친구처럼 대해주는 사람? 모르겠어요. 근데 좀 남자를 안 만난 지좀 오래돼가지고 이제 잘 모르겠어요. Is Aiden single? My brother? Yeah, he's single. Hit him up. I'm gonna cut my bangs. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna search up some styles so that I don't fuck it up. I wanted kind of this style, but <sighs> that's a that's a big risk, so I don't know if I can pull that off. This is a very big commitment. Last time I cut my bangs, I literally cried for like an hour. Okay, that's a lie. But I was really sad and upset because I couldn't figure out how to style them. But this time I will succeed. Oh my gosh, that's so much. I'm so scared. It's gonna Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Holy sh <laughs> Holy sh Holy f Wait, not bad. Okay, wait, wait. I see potential in this. Oh, that's a whole chunk of hair. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm gonna style it. Ah! Why is this like not working? Oh, it's like getting into my eyes. Wait, I'm so conflicted. I kind of liked it when it was straighter. I think this is a problem. I have to like kind of get rid of this part. Just clip it like this. Just leave it on like that for a bit. Add this oil thing. Does this count as a glow up or was that a glow down? Ah! Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know if that was a glow up. But that was something. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, well, that was so stressful for no reason. Who was your worst ex experience? My worst ex experience? Um, wait, I have to like think about this. I mean, there's a few. I just felt so suffocated. One of the exes cannot, he cannot communicate. Actually, not one, two. They both couldn't communicate. Another bad experience with my ex could be like i mean maybe because we were just really immature as we were still high schoolers i would have to like deal with rumors that would go around after breaking up with them and that was just really stressful as well but i learned that real friends know what's true and what's not so as long as they don't believe it i don't think it even matters at all because all that 
rumors do is just create these fake images of you that people would believe people as in people that i'm not close to or genuinely thinks of me as a true friend so it doesn't really matter but at that time obviously it would like stress me out hella but that's honestly like the worst that i could think of i didn't really have much traumatizing experiences <laughs> i had one but i can't really talk about it here um <laughs> See, these questions are so juicy. I could just expose myself so hard here, but I'm just limiting myself But these are the type of questions that I wanted. This is so fun to talk about, you know Like just genuine, you know, get to know each other kind of video You know what I mean? And obviously I would be so glad to answer other basic questions like Where'd you get this product from? Where'd you get that from? But I just wanted to kind of focus on this kind of topic of conversation in this video Because it's, I just have so much fun making these kind of videos to myself That was my glow up thank you for watching oh my god my battery's blinking perfect timing but i'll see you next time thank you for watching my glow up process and a lot of panicking moments in the process <laughs> bye <laughs>